Sometimes you just got to start. You know, I started dropping videos, just giving information, uh, passing knowledge, you know, being funny, just, you know, just being me. Just, you know, showing my personality, showing my business, showing my work ethics, how I'm going about, you know, starting my business independently. And I could have, you know, waited till I had so much finances up, but I knew if I kept waiting and waiting, I never got started. So I made a video where I literally um, told everyone that I started with $500 with a $500 uh, investment to start being independent, you know, buying that uh, 135 uh, Flux Core MIG welder and doing independent jobs, putting ads on Craigslist, uh, getting different orders in independently, and that was, that changed the game for me, honestly. Um, if it wasn't for me doing that, I think things would have just stayed stagnant for me. So if I have any advice to give anyone, I would say start wherever you at, especially if you have the desire to, you know. So this ain't for those who are not wanting to be independent, who are not wanting to take their life to a different level, you know who may be working a job and just say, you know, they just want to get a raise and they just want to get a new position and make a little bit more money. This is not, you know, for you. This is for those who may be working a job who's saying, you know what, I'm ready to do my own thing. I got enough experience in this. I've been doing this for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Now it's time for me to do my own thing. You know, I know it. Like, I know what I want to do. Once you know what you want to do and you got that desire to be independent, I mean... Having a regular job is going to like, <laughs> it's going to drive you. I mean, mentally, it's going to be like a burden on you because you know you can do better. And then, you know, we so used to the money coming in weekly and hourly. And sometimes, you know, doing that, you know, it can burn you out. You know, it can burn you out of what you really want to do. You know, you get off from doing all those hours, 40, 50, 60 hours, and you be like, man. You know, it, it, it kind of throws you off from wanting to do your own thing. So, you know, instead of us um, wanting to really invest in doing our own thing, we get tired out from doing the job. But deep inside, we want to be independent. Deep inside, we want to do something that's more valuable. We want to provide something to the economy. We want to, you know, sell our own products, show our own artwork, our own ideas, uh, our creativity what we can come up with and it's not limited you know um i feel like we just limit ourselves and what we want to accomplish you know a lot of times we'll start something and we'll be like can i really do this or will they let me do that you know i hate when someone said will they let you just do it you know i had a older gentleman from Fayetteville, arkansas tell me one time he said son i would rather ask for forgiveness than for permission because sometimes people will hold you back just because it's you trying to get to that next level and they're just a middleman they just don't want to see you cross over so they'll just wait to push the paperwork to the side or something <laughs> he says so oh, i just do it and when they come with a fee or well you just need to pay this or do this or whatever or or you got to stop do this till you do this he said well i just say hey forgive me i'll pay that but he's like oh, i'm tired of waiting on people He's like, i have never been where I am today if I just sat around and just waited. So, you know, think about that, you know what I mean? All my uh, followers out there, all those who are trying to be independent or want to be independent or want to start their businesses on whatever field it is. Because it might not just be welding. You might just use welding to uh, start it off or you might use the welding money to kick off your other business, you know, because I have several business uh, ventures that I'm working on. And all of them don't have to do with welding, you know what I mean? But I'm using welding as something that I enjoy and that I know I can make money off of and I know I can provide a service with. So I use what I know. And so whatever you're good at, use what you know. And then as you grow, you know, you're going to add different things to your portfolio. You're going to start doing different things, you know what I mean? You might venture into whatever comedy. You might venture into clothing. You might venture into movies. You might venture into uh, advertisement as promotion. Uh, you might be into doing uh, shops and uh, seminars or 
teaching classes or doing CWI work, you know. So um, I would just say, man, you have to start from somewhere. You have to make up your mind and just say, hey, I'm going to jump off of this boat and I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to walk on some water, you know. And to me, I feel like walking on water is just, it's not just doing what is impossible. It's what's doing what you thought was impossible. Because sometimes, you know, someone else can do something and you would think, oh, I can't do that. Why not? You know, to one person, it might be a gift. They might just have it. And to you, you might have to work hard at it. You might have to knock on doors. You might have to really exercise your muscles to get to that point, but you can still get there. And I have to tell myself that, you know. So me giving you this information don't, don't only uh, help you, but it helps me too because I have to remind myself that, hey, I got to stay at it because I'm knowing what I'm trying to do and I'm knowing what my goals are. So I can't let some obstacle or someone in their feelings or someone doing some um, some BS or saying some hate stuff or trying to keep me from getting to that next level because I know one thing, if I stay at it, I get it. And that's the same thing you'll do if you stay at it, keep knocking, but you have to start. So make up your mind where you at right now and just say, do you really want to do it? And if so, start working on it now. Hold on.